Hi, I'm Tom from Pinpoint, and I'm going to talk about how I think you should be sort of positioning yourselves for the new normal as, as a recruitment team. And so we've talked a lot in, in sort of separate content about how people are adapting to the current market circumstances and, and how everything's kind of changed, at least in the short term, from a recruitment perspective. I think obviously people have spent a little while adapting to those environments and they're sort of hopefully starting to get a bit more comfortable now and start to see performance creep back up to, to perhaps where it used to be. I think the reality is the question everybody seems to be asking themselves now is like, how do we prepare for whatever the new normal looks like as things actually get back to some semblance of stability? And I think there's a whole bunch of ways you can do that, right? So I guess from my perspective, I think about kind of two main themes, one being think about expanding and, and, and sort of scoping out your activity. So you're not just doing outbound recruitment and starting to think about inbound activity as well. And we'll talk about that in a sec. And also think about take your technology stack and, and how that fits as part of this broader kind of ecosystem and perhaps use the, the perceived downtime you have now or the increased opportunity to evaluate kind of process efficiency as a great opportunity to, to experiment with both technology and with new approaches to sourcing. So if we break those two down, I think we talk a lot at Pinpoint about the benefits of inbound sourcing and outbound sourcing and how the two actually are quite complementary rather than competitive. I think a lot of people take the approach that sort of outbound works for them and they'll rely on that almost entirely. And, and whilst that's a strategy that may have worked historically, I think you're kind of missing a trick if you don't evaluate the introduction of an inbound strategy as well. I think a lot of the pushback we get and we hear from teams, you know, pinpoint clients or not, from an inbound perspective is that it's a distraction and it takes time to sort of get that flywheel spinning and start to see some real meaningful underlying performance. I think the reality is now is the time, if you believe that to be true, to start that flywheel and start that thing spinning such that by the time the market sort of self-corrects and we get to a more like normal position, whatever that's going to look like, your inbound flywheel is starting to deliver some actual value and you're starting to see some meaningful candidates, both in terms of quality and quantity. I think the reality is it takes time to get inbound going and you know there's content creation, there's distribution, there's thinking about channel mapping and allocation. There's creative, like there's a whole bunch of things that oftentimes outbound focused recruitment teams just don't have the sort of intellectual capacity and experience to deliver consistently. I think the reality is that it's, it's an easy transition and you need to use the time that you have now to, you know, explore content, to experiment and to start trialing these things because you'll start to see some value quite quickly, especially in this marketplace. And I think the second thing we should be thinking about is evaluating how supportive your technology stack is from a HR tech perspective in all of the activity that we're talking about here, both inbound out and outbound. And so the reality is that, you know, we talk about transition to inbound and how that supports your outbound activity. The reality is that inbound has loads of pros. It also has some cons, right? So, you know, with outbound, you're very selective about the candidates that you spend time with and you kind of, yeah, maybe they don't engage and respond every time you engage with them. But the reality is that it's quite a sanitized process. I think the beauty of inbound is that sort of has unlimited scale and you get access to a bunch of folks you would not typically be able to get in front of. The challenge with that though is you also get access to a whole bunch of people you probably don't really want to get in front of. And I think there's a lot of like, I don't know, like experience that you need to build up over time in terms of how you deal with those candidates that aren't quite a good fit, how you give them a candidate experience that doesn't deter quality candidates from applying and how you think about like overall, like how you manage the increased scale of your recruitment operation when you introduce inbound into the fray. And I think the reality is for most teams that involves some form of additional technology, whether that's a system like Pinpoint from an applicant tracking and sourcing perspective, or whether that's a dedicated sourcing tool, whether that's a dedicated kind of talent nurture and pipeline solution. There's a whole bunch of different kind of pieces in the periphery of, of the kind of recruitment landscape that you can be evaluating right now. And again, like with the inbound addition, adding new technology to the ecosystem, like now is the time to do it. Now is when you have capacity. Now is when you are not inundated with transition and new volume. Uh, and so take advantage of that, evaluate what's available from a technology perspective, think about implementing new things to support that and think about expanding your sourcing efforts to allow inbound to form a, a bigger part of that puzzle.